Hawaiian. Born of Kekuku and Ka'opu of blood, direct descendant of Ka'opu, he held my ancestral link to Kamehameha. This Aina courses through my veins with each breath I inhale, and yet, when I exhale, my voice speaks the language of city streets paved with concrete. I seek the knowledge of Western philosophy from the teachers who taught me and those that taught them. Trace to the scriptures of Plato and Socrates and others who followed under the laws of linear logic. And yet my thought patterns wide were sitting across the Kanakamoli tradition. From the Kumulipo to the Avalonoe, oh, I hear the wisdom of my ancestors and listen to ancient chants pass off the winds of the Ko'olau and dance through part of the beats of the Ipu. I dance through part of the beats of the Pamu. I dance through part of the beats of hip hop. We enough of run DMC, PDP, and Grandmaster Flash. It was hip hop who held my hand through dark tunnels, leading me to find my own voice to stand poetry, a voice to speak and teach the youth of my land, to give back to the children of Hawaii by appealing to their hip hop disabilities because they are being made up of edges like I was. Thus, we can relate. Your perspective on a hip hop revolution is relative. Cultural degradation is a cause and effect chain reaction, a feedback mechanism that builds upon itself. You never understand the implications of a race that doesn't embrace its own culture until you're standing in the midst of a foreign wasteland. The greatest trick that ever played on us was to make us believe our language and religion were inferior. That we should punish the school kids who didn't speak proper English and persecute the men and women who didn't believe in Jesus Christ but found God through Ku, Lono, Kanalo, and Kane, who built Heal to Pele, who are living as heathens because they chose to praise their Amakua as opposed to subscribing to another man's church. Their church, the greatest cultural thief of our time. I am a Hawaiian in the 21st century. You don't understand what America has done for me. They've given me opportunities to expand my consciousness. They took a brown kid from an island and trained him in universal sciences. Trained me at MIT so that I could come back and make a difference here in my homeland. You don't understand what America has done for us. You don't understand what America has done to us. They've imposed the notions of land ownership on a people who didn't believe in such foreign concepts. The land belonged to itself with all of us as its caretakers. But the great Mahele and the illegal overthrow of our government will tell you otherwise. To them, you're nothing but a strategic military and economic, economic center disguised by a tourist trap veil, forced to inhale their policies and drink of their imperialism. They do not belong here. We are not of the world. We are of the first world because of them. Life expectancy is doubled. Listen, the past holds injustices. Truth. But you can't demand land back from the people who have nothing to do with past crimes. You can't penalize non Hawaiians for being non Hawaiian, and you can't turn back the hands of time, so look to the future with revolutionary eyes. You've been blessed with technological progress and a language that gives you access to a world larger than your own. I've been cursed with a tongue that isn't my own, disconnected from the center cultures of my ancestors, and thus disconnected from the thought patterns of my culture. For God's sake, I am a Hawaiian in the 21st century. 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 The conflict within me is the same that divides my people amongst each other, inhibiting all attempts at progress. And yet as time passes on, each step we don't take is a step taken backwards, because my culture is dying each time a kapuna loses her breath, each time our Western red generation inherits her strength. How can we understand her wishes if we no longer understand her breath? Ha'ole. How can we understand her wishes if she no longer has a breath? Ha'ole. My people are running out of breath. Thanks. <laughs>